Okay, so we got another short update here. Um, so we have a 90 minute rolling blackouts now inside Greater Tokyo. Uh, the trains are still running at reduced capacity, but most importantly, uh, what I've heard is that there are now uh, long lines appearing at supermarkets. And I've heard one report that said there are more than 100 people waiting in line at the supermarket just for the chance to go in to buy something. Now this is actually something that's really wonderful about the Japanese culture. So they just calmly wait their turn for a chance to go into the supermarket. God, can you imagine if that was like Los Angeles or, or New Orleans or, or, or you know some other place? They just, you know, they, they, they just take the place out, right? Maybe that's not that's not a totally fair characterization, but I think you get the general idea. So there's 100 people calmly waiting outside the supermarket for their chance to enter. Um, lines at the gasoline stations are still very long, and uh, I'm reading a report here that says that the uh, Bank of Japan has doubled its existing program to purchase government and corporate bonds at about uh, 10 trillion yen. So they're opening the spigots, folks. Big time. There's money just flowing into the system. And it's going to get, in well, my opinion, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse before it gets better. I mean, we're, we're talking about weeks and weeks, maybe even months, without water or electrical supplies to that to that region. And so I kind of half expecting uh, Tokyo to continue with this rolling blackout situation. It's really, really horrible, but uh, I guess one starts running out of adjectives when you talk about that kind of situation. Anyway, everyone seems to know someone or know of someone who's from that area who's either missing or has been found and uh, well anyway when I hear more I'll post it up. Good night.